For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Wednesday, July 27th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. Secretary of State Jim Condo says Vermont's August 9th statewide primary election is only two weeks away and he wants voters to formulate their voting plan. Those planning to return their ballot by mail are encouraged to get their voted ballot in the mail stream no later than this Friday, July 29th, to ensure ample time for it to be delivered to the town clerk before Election Day. Vermonters can also vote early or return an early ballot in person at their clerk's office any day before Election Day on August 9th during normal business hours. Secure drop boxes are available in many towns for voters to conveniently return their ballot packages. The Vermont Democratic primary for Congress would not be close if the election was held today. This according to a new political poll from the University of New Hampshire. The poll shows that 63% of likely Democratic voters support Becca Ballot in the U.S. House race, while just 21% say they'd vote for Molly Gray. Federal prosecutors say a Vermont man charged with killing his mother at sea in 2016 in a plot to inherit millions should remain held pending trial because he poses a flight risk and is a danger to others. The prosecutors filed a motion in federal court on Friday opposing Nathan Carmen's request to be released. Carmen was charged in May with killing his mother during a fishing trip in which his boat sank. He was found floating in a raft and rescued days later. Prosecutors also accused Carmen of killing his grandfather in Windsor, Connecticut in 2013, but he has not been charged. He has pleaded not guilty to his mother's death. Safety officials from New England are announcing a region-wide anti-speeding enforcement and social norming campaign called Slow Down New England. Slow Down New England is part of a national anti-speeding campaign on behalf of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration targeting the rise of drivers exceeding speeding limits. This is a trend being reported throughout the country. New Hampshire State Police Captain Chris Vetter, who serves as commander of the state's Office of Highway Safety, said that throughout his 20 years of service, it has become an everyday occurrence to witness cars traveling over 100 miles per hour on interstates. WTSA Sports, rookie Nolan Jones hit a three-run homer to lead the Cleveland Guardians past the Red Sox last night, 8-3. The teams play again this evening. Nathan Avaldi on the mound for Boston. First pitch is at 7-10. The Mets scored four runs in the first inning on their way to a 6-3 win over the Yankees. The, and that was last night, obviously, at City Field in Queens. The teams play again tonight. Domingo Hermain on the mound for the Yankees. First pitch is at 7 p.m. News, always available at WTSARadio.com. And for WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Wednesday, July 27th. Have a safe and tremendous day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.